by the way, a lot of people tune in so we can help sell your wares, whatever that ware may be. People trust us, too. They know that we're not going to endorse an advertiser that we don't believe in. We've turned people down before that said, I want to pay you X number of dollars, and I want you to talk about my business, and we'll look up a business, and they have a terrible rating or whatever. We're not going to advertise that business. I think it's advantageous that we have a lot of people who listen to the show, quite frankly. I mean, the numbers are there. Uh, so if you want more people to hear what you're selling, that would be a big push. Um, we actually use the product that we endorse, we check the, or check them out, make sure that it's quality. Um, we're not just selling whatever comes our way. So the ones that we do advertise, the audience knows that we believe in it and that it's a good business run by good people with a good product. Listen, for an advertiser who wants to advertise with us, they know that our audience is going to trust us to sell their product because we're not going to try to sell a product if it's no good. The audience uh, has been steadily growing over the years. When we started, we were number one early on in the 18 to 34 persons demo, and then the goal was to grow it out from there. And at this point, we've been um, uh, bragging camp, but number one, 25, 54 persons going on almost a decade, and then 18 to 49 persons, 18 to 34 persons going back to 2005 and 2006. So <laughs> Yeah, we're not just going to do it for the money. There, there are enough people around with good products that we don't need to advertise bad ones. Yeah, it just got real serious. Yeah, the biggest thing is just to have a good time. We know that people listen to us to have fun. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Joe, when you cut it, you have to go, hey, everybody, it's ribbon cutting time, and then cut it. <laughs> no, no, please, please don't make me do this one. No. What I ended up doing was cut the ribbon before they could do it. I just am so scared. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and I cut it. Everyone, I declare this bridge open. I declared the bridge open. I jumped up, I said hooray, and then I ran as fast as I could. Go progress! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I did it! I cut it, they cut the ribbon, and they erupted everybody. <laughs> and I'm running away across the bridge. Free Bear and I were roommates in college. We've known each other forever. We've been doing the show together for 21 years. Um, and Joe and Steve have been with us for a long time too, and Kelly just joined, but has uh, immediately fit right in with the rest of us. You just tried to wink and, and you were with both eyes. <laughs> so you just kind of look like you had a tick. Yeah, you know that it's legit when you get the double wink. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about things that work for us, that we enjoy, so people trust us. What we do is we put you in a bus and we travel the country and we tell you how you can get rich buying mobile home parks. <laughs> <laughs> laugh, think, cry. We want to make you laugh, maybe make you think, and if we cry about something positive along the way, that's pretty good, or just feel an emotion. The show is supposed to be funny. That's, uh, that's the ultimate takeaway. That's the goal. Doesn't always land, but you know, what does? But that is ultimately what it is, but also it's very real. We all share everything about our lives. Oh, We don't put on an act. We are essentially who we are, and we are pals, and we make each other laugh. I think that really makes it stand out. I feel like yeah. you just threatened uh, someone behind the fourth wall there. For all your selling needs, the Free Beer and Hot Wing Show. Uh, a good sense of humor about that. That's pretty funny. That one. You're right, Joe. That was hilarious. <laughs> oh my God, that was funny. Yo, I'm glad you yeah. did it, even though we didn't want you to. Yeah. Oh. I wish we could have <laughs> talked you out of it.